Yeah, so I saw this tweet where I heard about this and lots of topics to cover today. And as usual, a lot of weird, interesting things going on in hip hop. But the one thing is, is that Sexy Red had came out and said that she supports Donald Trump. I do remember hearing that. And then coincidentally, her sex tape leaks the next day. Now, according to this one guy we all know is a pretty big uh, Twitter account. He said that he believes that there's a conspiracy and that once people step up to say that they are not part of the agenda, like they'll be part of the agenda to make all the money that they can. And then once they speak up and say that they are no longer supporting the agenda, the agenda comes in and tries to destroy their career. Now, some people have said that this is a conspiracy, but it is interesting how we continue to see these things happening. That because she supports Trump, that now all of a sudden her sex tape has leaked. And supposedly she says that she was so hurt over the sex tape. But I got to tell you, man, um, yes, she's a big rapper right now. So that's why people would watch it. But really, I saw a little clip of it. And I said that this was pretty just gross. It, it just didn't even look good to me. Um I mean, I think it's just so ridiculous how there's so many female rappers out there that have these sex tapes that happen to leak. Uh, and it's just, how about this? Why were you filming it in the first place? I mean, come on, you're a big rapper, right? Right now, you're a big rapper as of right now. And you're going to film yourself having sex and then you're going to be shocked that it leaked. But we all know why why these rappers do this. Yeah, it's just so stupid how how sex and porn and drugs and whatever else negativity is such the driving force of rap music. It's just it's kind of sad. Like you really do not see this going on in any other music. Uh, they do not. I, I doubt that uh, Taylor Swift will have a sex tape anytime soon with her boyfriend. Yeah. Next topic, Suge Knight. Yeah, man. So Suge Knight says that he will not testify in court, and I don't blame him because he's not a snitch. Uh, TMZ interviewed him, and he spoke on it saying that he couldn't, you know, believe what's going on. It's like, yeah, what's going on, man? That over a quarter of a century later, now, all of a sudden, this is all coming out. But like we said before, yeah. Something something's just not adding up here. I think that there's a bigger agenda that's going on. I think that the industry is using hip hop to keep everybody. Uh, I don't know, man. It just seems like something something very strange is going on and that we are still concerned about this Tupac case. But, yo, I'm sure I can hear a lot of rappers that would come out at that time. There are so many unsolved crimes that have happened in hip-hop i understand that tupac and biggies were probably some of the biggest ones that happened but still the fact that there are so many unresolved cases in hip-hop in rap where I, I don't know what's going on maybe they're trying to say that now with the technology we understand what happened but nah there was a code of the streets i believe that was broken somewhere what I also found very interesting that TMZ chose to not reiterate was that, if I'm not mistaken, they said there were four guys in that car, but Shook said there was only two. And he will not say who the shooter was, but according to the police and what they have on file, they have who the shooter is. And Shook is saying that that is not the shooter. What an interesting, controversial twist and turns that this case has there is no clear story on this and i don't know if uh the truth will ever come out it's very confusing i feel that they are just painting it on whoever they can i'm really curious to see if drake is really going to set it straight i mean how could he not we just had that kendrick lamar leak this where he's talking about everybody i don't think he was talking about drake on that uh, project but a lot of people have been saying that subliminally they have been taking shots at each other throughout the years so 
Uh, we have that. We also have Pusha T. Uh, academics went on to say that Drake destroyed Pusha T's career. I'm not sure if I fully agree with that. I think that Pusha T is doing his thing. I don't think he needs to worry about always being in the public uh, spotlight. But come on, man. Ack, you're going to say that Drake don't have his kid in his new video and that ain't got nothing to do with Pusha? Come on, man. Get out of here. Get out of here, dude. Yeah, man, there's a lot going on in hip hop. Curious to see where we're going to go with this. No matter how successful we become, it seems like there's always some kind of, I don't know if systemic racism is what comes to mind. Not sure if that's being used properly in this metaphor, but I will just say that there's some type of racism that just seems to just keep black people in the system, no matter how successful, like they could be a Suge Knight or uh, this Tupac situation. And it's just the, the events of the way these things end. It's just somewhat very um, disappointing if you really look at the bigger picture to see. And that, again, not to sound repetitive, but you only hear about this in rap music. And it's almost like you kind of have to uh, be under the radar a little to be able to maintain somehow some way drake seems to be uh doing it correctly because he's definitely in the spotlight and it looks like the machine is obviously pushing him i mean come on man it gets to a point to where i listen to the radio i hear drake playing on different stations at the same time so that to me and it's like multiple times throughout the day it's not just like oh yeah that was a coincidence it's like no it's like repetitively it's like no it's a it's a plan there's a system in place where this is the music that we want to push so uh that the machine wants to push you know in your ear repetitively it doesn't matter where you are yo you could be at the grocery store you could be at a basketball game you could be on spotify you could be listening to the radio in your car you know, you could be watching music videos. You could be listening to other artists. You could be looking at Instagram. You could be watching podcasts. It's just constant. It's constant. So Drake definitely has that power of the voice right now, and it would be really interesting to see how he uses it. But yeah, man, for right now, that's rap music. We're going to see what happens.